Hey, welcome to the Kodakid Minecraft Mod installation video. This is the Mac version, so if you're on a Windows PC, I want you to go to the video that I'm putting on screen right now. My name is Marshall. I'm an instructor and a developer at Kodakid. Since we teach kids how to make Minecraft mods, the question of how do I install mods comes up a lot. At this point, we've helped thousands of people install Minecraft mods on their home computers. But it can still be kind of a tricky installation and things can go wrong, so we decided to make this video to help make that process a little bit easier. In this video, I'm going to go over three separate topics. First, what is a mod? Second, where do I find safe mods? And third, how do I install mods on my computer? So what is a mod? Well, mod is just short for modification. You can think of Minecraft kind of like a book. Uh, it's got 10 chapters and it's really good. You read through it, you had a lot of fun, but when you finish that 10th chapter, you're kind of sad because you want more content. You want to keep reading. So you decide to write your own chapter and stick it in the back of the book. That's a mod, that's a modification to the book, okay? When we make a mod for Minecraft, we're changing the Minecraft code to add something to it or to change how it works. Minecraft mods can be a lot of fun and you've probably seen YouTubers playing them or heard your friends talk about them, so you wanna learn how to install them. Let's get on to that first step, how do I find mods and how do I make sure that mods are safe? Well, if you're using a mod that you made by yourself at home or made with a Kodakid course, then you can skip this step because you already have your mod. But if you're looking for mods online that you maybe saw a YouTuber using or something, I'll show you how to find those. Since we're looking for mods online, we wanna open up an internet browser. I'm using Google Chrome, but you can use anything you want. So this question of where do I find good safe mods for Minecraft? How do I make sure I'm not downloading a virus or a Trojan? Well, it's always a good idea to have a good antivirus program installed when you're using uh, or installing any sort of mods. But the best thing you can do is be a savvy, smart internet user who knows what they're looking for. One of the best ways to safeguard yourself against viruses and stuff like that is to only download popular, well-known mods. These are mods that thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of people are using, and if all those people are playing, it and they haven't found anything, then it's probably pretty safe. A good place to go to find mods is a website called minecraftmods.com. You can type that into your search bar or you can just go ahead and Google Minecraft mods. Hit enter and we're going to go to this site. You can see there's a bunch of mods listed here, okay? But like I said, we're looking for popular mods because those are the safer mods. Most of the mods on this site are going to be safe, but I can't promise that for 100% of them. So we're going to stick to the popular ones. If you come over here to the right, you can see there's a list of popular mods. Now these aren't all the popular ones, but this is a good place to get started. I'm gonna click on lots of mobs, because that looks interesting. And it looks like this is a mod that adds a bunch of new mobs to Minecraft. Deer, camels, birds, that's super cool. So, I'm gonna go ahead and install this one. Now, let's check for a couple things. First, let's make sure it's actually a popular mod. We'll scroll down here to the bottom. And we're looking for right here, it has 417 votes at four stars, which is pretty good. That means there's a lot more than 417 installs, and that's only from this website, keep in mind. And the comments look pretty good. So it looks like it's pretty safe. Next, we're going to make sure that it's a Forge mod. Now, there's lots of ways to install mods on your computer, but Forge is the easiest and the most popular. So we're going to be showing you how to use that. You can see right here, this mod has requirements Minecraft Forge listed, which is perfect because we're looking for Forge mods. So this one is good to go. The last thing we want to check is the Minecraft version. Minecraft gets updated every few months and it changes versions from 1.6 to 1.7 to 1.8 to 1.9. You can see right here, this is a 1.8 mod, okay? And you can use any version you want. The only thing you need to make sure is that all your mods that you're using, downloading, are the same version. And if you're using a Kodakid mod that you made with us, then it's going to most likely be a 1.8 mod. So you can see right here, this is a 1.8 mod, that's fine and it looks like we're all good to go. I wanna download this mod. Now we can find the download button down here at the bottom. You'll see it says download right here in this orange rectangle. Now be careful because it says start download free and there's a bunch of download buttons right here, but these are all ads, okay? These aren't things you wanna click on. They might be dangerous, okay? We're looking for this button right here that says download. So we're gonna click on that and it's going to open this window and that's going to start this download in the bottom left, LOM, that stands for lots of mobs. 1.8.jar. Mod files are .jar files. It's asking me if I wanna keep this, it could be harmful. We've already established it's probably a safe mod, so I'm gonna click on keep, all right? And that's gonna finish downloading it for me. Now, we can't use this just yet because like I said, we need Minecraft Forge to install this mod. So, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go to a new website to install Minecraft Forge. We're gonna go up here to this browser, uh, click on the address bar and type in files.minecraftforge.net. Alternatively, you can also just Google Minecraft Forge download, but I'm gonna type that in and hit enter. And you should end up on this website with the Minecraft Forge logo, 
all this stuff. So our mod was a 1.8 mod. So we're looking for, right under here, Minecraft versions, 1.8. And we're gonna be clicking on 1.8 right here. If you downloaded a 1.7 mod, it's probably 1.7.10. You might have a 1.9 mod or even an older one like 1.6, but we're, we have a 1.8 mod. And like I said, most CodaKid mods are 1.8 mods. So we're gonna come down here and click on 1.8. That's gonna take us to a new page. It says downloads, 1.8, which is where we wanna be. And we can either download the latest version or the recommended version. I recommend that you download the recommended version because it's more stable, less bugs, less error prone, stuff like that. So we're gonna come over here and look for installer, all right? Not installer win because we're on a Mac, installer. And we're gonna click on that and we're gonna wait for that to open. Now you'll notice when we get to this page, okay? It's going to bring up something on the screen that might say your player is out of date or a button that says start download. Be careful not to click on anything in this whole area. Anything underneath this gray bar at the top is an ad. We don't want to click on it. We don't know where it's going to take us. What we're waiting for is this button in the top right. It should say uh, 54321 and then skip. We're waiting for this skip button to appear because this is where we actually want to go to download our mod. So we'll click on that and that'll start the download. The reason it has this ad here is because uh, Minecraft Forge needs money to keep up its development. So it takes us to this page that shows an ad that, uh, that gives the site some money so they keep developing it. They don't have any control over these ads and sometimes they're deceptive. But again, we're just looking for the skip button and we're gonna start the download. This is a safe file, so we're gonna click on keep and that'll finish the download for me, all right? Once we finish downloading that file, we're going to run it by clicking on it, okay? And it's gonna pop up here. I do wanna open it because we know what file we're looking at here. We know it's safe. And that's going to start an installation process. You can go ahead and close out its window, by the way, when you're done with that. So we're gonna see the Minecraft system installer pop up here, Minecraft Forge, okay? We're gonna make sure that it has install client checked, and then we're gonna go ahead and click on okay. And that's going to start the download and installation process. So give us a couple minutes. It may take a little while, but it's gonna download all this for you. You don't have to do anything during this step. Just wait for it to finish. All right, when it's all done, it'll say successfully installed client profile forge, yada, yada, yada. We're just gonna click on okay, and we're all done with that. Now, before we can install that mod we downloaded, we have to run Minecraft just one time to make sure Forge is working. So we're gonna come up here, click on the search bar, type in Minecraft, and we're gonna launch Minecraft just once and uh, make sure Forge is installed properly. Okay, when you get to this launcher, normally you just click on play and you get started in Minecraft, but before we do that, I want you to come over here to the left where it says profile, click on that, and you should now have an option that says Forge, okay? Click on that, and in the bottom right, it should say, ready to update and play Minecraft 1.8 Forge, okay? That should be the version we installed. If it says that, you're all good to go. Click on play, and it's going to uh, change the Minecraft version over to 1.8 or whatever version you selected and make sure Forge is running. So, give it a little while to download and for Minecraft to start. Okay, so when you finally get into Minecraft, you may notice there's a new button on here, Mods, okay? If you click on that, there should be three mods in here. The Minecraft Coder Pack, Minecraft Forge Loader, or Forge Mod Loader, and then Minecraft Forge. But our mod's not in this list, okay? We haven't installed it yet. We're just making sure that Minecraft Forge works. So, if you have this Mods button, you should be all good. You can go ahead and close out of Minecraft, and we're going to install that mod. So first we need to find it. I put mine in the Downloads folder, but if you built yours yourself, it may be in a separate folder, or maybe you downloaded it somewhere else, but go ahead, regardless, and find the download. You can see right here I have lom1.8.jar. Remember, uh, mod files are .jar files. This is the one I want. So I'm going to hold down control on my keyboard, click on it, and then select copy. Okay, I'm going to copy that to the clipboard because we need to move it into our mods folder if we want to run it. Next, we're going to find our mods folder. And on a Mac, the way you're going to do that is by coming up here, and make sure you have Finder selected, okay? This uh, browser window for files. Go up here to where it says Go, okay? And then you have a list of popular places you can go on your computer. If you hold down the Alt or the Option button, you'll see a secret option appears right here called Library. So hold down Alt, click on Library, and then we're looking for the Minecraft folder, okay? Then we're looking for the Mods folder, okay? And you can double click on that to go into it. And we're going to Control click and paste, all right? So now we have our new .jar file, our mod file, in the mods folder. That means it should be installed on Minecraft now. So we're gonna close out of this. We're gonna run Minecraft again, open it up. Again, make sure you have the Forge profile selected and click on play and let it load. It should be a lot faster this time because it doesn't need to download so many things. Okay, so now when we go to the mods button in here, there should be a new one at the bottom, lots of mobs or whatever mod you installed. Maybe your mod, maybe a different mod you found online. If it's there, that means it should be working, but let's test it real quick by going into single player. Okay, and obviously you test each mod differently. For this one, I'm gonna be looking to see if those mobs were added to my game. 
And let's see, here I am in the world. Don't want those seeds, useless to me. Uh, I'm gonna go over here to the miscellaneous tab where the eggs are stored and see if those new mobs are there. It looks like I have spawn boar, very cool. Oh, I got 64 of those. I uh, got deer, we got, oh, villagers are not new. We got lizard, that's cool. Ant, uh, whoa, there's a whale. Can't wait to see what that does. So let's check out some of these new things I added with this mod. All right, so if I hold down control and click, uh, or right click, uh, there we go, that's my new boar. That's pretty cool, that's new. Let's see what a deer is like, awesome. What else we got in this mod? Spawn a lizard, aw, oh, he's cute. Uh, we got an ant, I wonder what that's gonna be. I wonder if it's gonna be a giant ant or, nope, really tiny ant. <laughs> I don't really know what he does, but that's pretty cool. And then I should probably go over to some water for this whale to see what that's like. I am excited about this one though. Let's plop him down and whoa, that is a big mob. Let's see if we can't push him back into the water a little bit so we can swim around. All right, very cool. So our mod is installed successfully. Now whenever you're online, you see a YouTuber using a cool mod or you finish making your own mod, uh, you'll know how to install it and you can play around with it. Hope you guys have a lot of fun with these mods. Thank you for watching our mod installation video. If you thought this video was helpful, go ahead and leave us a like so we know that you liked it. And if you wanna see more content like this, more videos that show you how to make mods, how to install mods, more content about how mods work, how Minecraft works, go ahead and subscribe to our channel so you know when our next video comes out. If you are interested in making your own mods, we have an online course that takes you through all the steps of making a mod. From the very beginning, just starting out, how do I program, all the way to the end where you've created a dozen mods. You can check that out at our website. I've put that link as well as all the other links for this video in the description below. Go ahead and leave us a comment if you want to give some feedback on how we can make these videos better or if you just want to say hello. My name is Marshall and thanks for watching.